Nick and Kristen from 99.5 The Wolf joining us live. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. We have some foodie takes. Huh? Yeah, we do. Okay, so the question of do you go grocery shopping when you're hungry? The answer for me has always been don't do it. Uh, <laughs> and some, some new research, I think, backs that up. Yeah, pretty much they're saying you're going to spend more when you go hungry, obviously, and you're going to buy more unhealthy things because you go there and you're like, yes, I want a salad, but these Doritos are looking awfully tasty. Right. That's just, that's my <laughs> daily struggle. Oh, uh, were there numbers? Like, do, okay, so, oh, extra $26 per trip on average? Holy cow. If you go shopping hungry? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ooh. But if you think about it, with the price of everything now, that's just like an extra bag of chips or yeah. like a carton of eggs at this point. <laughs> that's that is true. the price of one Dorito. No, that's true. I did check out at the grocery store the other day. I think my total was like $80, and it was two bags, like two brown mm -hmm. paper bags, not even full. I was just like, what? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That sounds about right. Every time I go, I'm shocked. I'm just like, really? Yeah. But, you know. I yeah. will say, I'm But what happens in our house, because we're married, is like, we'll go, oh, there's nothing for lunch. We'll just go to the store and pick something up. So, like, we'll pick up a rotation chicken and then while we're there we'll be like oh they have some fresh sushi that they just put out we'll get that and then like oh do you want a little treat for later on yeah maybe we should get like a little carton of ice cream or something <laughs> of and none of that was planned yeah and so you end up looking yes. at your groceries and going all of this is terrible for me and i spent a ton of money exactly and so this is this is funny now i didn't have a science to back this up but in a, in a previous life i worked at costco i buy push cards stock the shelves that's you know, right what was your nickname my nickname did I have a nickname? I thought you, yeah. Didn't people call you like the hot Costco guy? <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> yes, oh, they did. But that you. is not where what the story was going to go. I'm going to go to Walmart. No one ever called me hot what, Walmart guy. What I was going to say, Emily, uh -huh. I'm sorry. is when people would ask, like, you know, every time I was checking somebody out, you know, I'd be like, hey, did you find everything? Mm -hmm. and, and they would say, like, yes. And then some, right? You always find more than what you need or what you plan on going into I the store that, for. I <laughs> Exactly. More than I came here for. <laughs> exactly. And here's the thing. I came in for, I was going to buy just one item and I left with all this stuff. Yeah. And my thing was always, you know, of course, if you walk into a Costco or any store hungry, right? Just like you said, you're going you're gonna to buy all that other stuff. Yeah. But it, I never understood at any store, you're like, I was only going to get like this one thing and I left with all this. Well, then why did you grab a cart? You're like, you just walk in. If you really only have one thing on your mind, you're either like to me or to yourself. I don't mm -hmm. know who it is. Mm -hmm. No, well, that's true. Well, sometimes the thing you're getting is only fits in a cart. I don't know. If, well, well, yeah. Back yeah. Up, yeah. Right? yeah Costco. Costco. I need a mistakes. vacuum and a chicken. Where well, do see, I go? I have the yes. opposite problem. I go shopping and I don't get the cart because I'm like, I only need one thing. And then I am the one walking up to the counter with like every single thing I could possibly carry <laughs> stacked up to my chin and I'm trying to unload it and check out. And they're like, are you good? I'm like, yeah, yeah I should have yeah, grabbed totally. the cart. I know. Oh my God. Travis yeah. was helping people check out while people were we're checking out Travis. Oh my gosh. The I'm so happy I have just... makeup on and be blushing. So Emily, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Emily, I'm so <laughs> upset with you right I'm now. I'm writing down hot Costco guy. That's the only way I'm going to refer to you yeah. from now on. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh my gosh. I, oh, I can't look at the camera. Thank you, sorry. Emily. I've done it now. Hey, in some other happy Friday, food everybody. news. Oh, oh. I'm going to just change the topic. In other food news, <laughs> it's National Grilled Cheese Day. And I did not know this. Apparently, the average American adult eats 36 grilled cheeses every year. Ooh. That seems yeah. like a That's lot incorrect, of grilled cheese by the way. to me. Well, if you're thinking, you're like, that seems like a lot. Yeah. Well, it probably means you don't have kids because yes. every day we have to eat their grilled cheese. So because of oh. my kid, I've had at least 50 grilled cheeses so far this year. Our nice. five-year-old daughter, Lily, always asks for grilled cheese, and then she'll take a bite out of it, and she'll be like, done. And so, like, what do you do as a parent? You go, all right, I guess I'll eat grilled I'm not going to throw it away. My mom didn't raise no. We, oh we were just gosh. talking about how expensive groceries are. I know. You can't throw You can't toss it. Leftover grilled cheese no. for lunch and dinner. I mean, that's a good problem. The question is, mayo or butter? Ew. Oh, I don't like the mayo. Team, team either. butter. Honestly, team butter. either on team the butter. outside to crisp them, up, crisp them up. They work the same. As long yeah. as you get that um, melty uh, craft Singles in the middle. It's, it's <laughs> yes. like that, that's Singles. the classic. Craft Singles, yeah. This is the ooey gooey cheese. Yeah. It is ooey gooey. Right. It's my favorite. That is true. Well, this has been Emily's just, a, just a today. treat, yeah. you guys. This is this has been great. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you Bye, on Monday. Cocktail. Bye, hot cocktail guys. Bye, everyone. Have a great weekend. Got to figure out a way to Emily, wipe everybody's memory over the weekend. Okay, for more trending topics, you can hang out with Nick and Kristen weekday mornings on 99.5 The Wolf.